morning, everyone. you something. You feel this? This is the life that's growing inside of me. It's your grandchild. It's the grandchild that you're gonna call darling and you're gonna spoil rotten. And I need you to fight. I need you to live for me. And Stuart. the forehead, Cecilia. And Cece, don't go too heavy on the blush, okay? We wanted to keep it natural. Okay, guys, that's good. Let's step out. Thank you. They did good work. Do I really look convincing? Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, you're Joy Hawkins on a perfect summer day a million years ago. What about my voice? I mean, he's heard my voice before, you know. He might recognize it. On the other hand, he might not. You gotta remember, you and Joy are both from the same part of the country. Honey, all you gotta do is be yourself. Use your own accent. Okay. Okay. Thanks for everything. What? Thinking of everything. You ready for your close up, Miss Hawkins? No. But I'll do it. Okay, Ron, let's get everybody to stand by. We're going live. That don't beat all. Somebody pinched your costume. Never mind. Never mind, sweet joy. You still got that tattoo right where it belongs. Damn. It's a Chandler. No, guy. no, it was just a, a big old rat that's around here. No, no, never mind. Find my costume. No, no, shut me. up. That kid's around here somewhere. When I find him, he's gonna rue the day he was ever born. It's joy. And I'm so sorry. Because we played a dirty trick on you. Lordy, I hope you're hearing this. I was very wrong to let Adam fool you into thinking that I died. Because as you can see, I'm very much alive. And I would like more than anything make it all up to you. I understand that you're not well. And hearing that made me so upset and worried. And I realized how selfish I had been. And how much I missed you. I missed you so much, Lee. I, uh, 
I realize that I must have changed a little bit since the last time you saw me. Well, I've, I've changed on the inside, too. I realize how stupid I was to ever listen to Adam Chandler. How wrong I was to let him turn me against you. To poison my mind against you. And if you let me, I could make it all up to you. I could be the wife. I could be the woman that you always needed and wanted me to be. Do you remember? I loved you so much. Do you remember the feel of our arms around each other? And the, and the fire that we had together? Is that you, Joy? Is that really you, Joy? Just, just give me a call. I'm at the TV studio in Pine Valley. You tell me where you want me to meet you and I'll be there. Please forgive me. Let me make it all up to you. All right, everybody, we're clear. You okay? Soon. Okay. So I'll be over soon. I gotta get him to see Marion. I know I can help her. I got here as soon as I could. Are you all right? I'm fine. Stuart? How's Marion? Well, so far, it's, it's just touch and go. I, I think it would really help her if she were around people that loved her. If you think uh, Stuart is the key to Marion's recovery, then by God, I'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. Here's what we do. We either have to clear the area or create a... Liza. Yes? Hi, we've done everything we can to keep your mom comfortable. Is she gonna be all right? Well, it's too soon to predict. Your mother's still in critical condition. We're just going to wait and see. Uh, my brother has taken this very hard. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it would help him a lot if he could uh, just go in to see Marion. Yeah, um, why don't we get her stabilized first, and then, then he can go in there. Oh, yeah. Actually, I would like to discuss my mother's condition and treatment with you. Do, is there a place that we could all talk yeah, private? Yeah, sure. Let's go, let's go to my office. Good. Good. Thank you. A wonderful face. I remember when I woke up in Adam's bed and saw your face. I knew right then and there that my life was never going to be the same. Do you remember when I was in the hospital and you, you brought me all those cheesy snacks? And the next morning I woke up before you and I was looking at your face where I am right now. You have such a beautiful face. All the painters in the world, they paint for a thousand years. 
They'll never be able to come up with a face like yours if they had every color that ever was. Marion, you know, you've reminded me of all the things I thought I'd forgotten. You brought back the beauty of everyday things, like, like a ball of string, or a big tall glass of lemonade, or a swing. You taught me that love doesn't need words. It can be in a smile or a, or your hand held in mine. It can be confusing. It can, it can say one thing and hear another thing. But if we listen, we really listen with our hearts. Marion, don't you want to wake up now? Come on, why don't you wake up? Just wake up and, 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 and look at my beautiful face. It's a silly face. I'm going to stay here until you wake up. And you will wake up. I know you will. Joy? Joy? She's waiting for you. Give her a call. Or better still, go to her. She's at the television station. Surprise her. What are you waiting for? Go! Stop! Let me think. <laughs> what am I waiting for? I got the most beautiful girl in the world waiting for me. Go for it. Okay, I will. Now let's get you and the boy all cleaned up, spick and span. And then I'm going to take you with me to meet Joy. This is your day, Lee. You've been waiting how long to to hold your wife in your arms again after all these years? You, you don't want us tagging along. Well, then I'll just drop you off on my way. Hey. Hey, Sonny. Hey, game's over. Come on out. Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. I think he must have gone. Nah. Nah, he's just funning me. Hey, come on out. Come on down. Time for me to take you and your sister home to meet your mommy and your daddy. Come on down, Sonny. Come on, we gotta hit the road now. Derek, what do you mean you have nothing on either of them? That's not good enough. All right, look, I'm here at the hospital. If you need me, just page me, okay? Yeah. Jake, not, not now, Matt, okay? How's Marion? Doesn't look good. Score another one for Lee Hawkins. That creep that buried her alive has my wife and her kid brother, Jake. Please come up with any more leads? Nothing. They got nothing. I'm back against the wall here. You want Haley and Junior's blood on your hands? Hey. I don't want anyone dead. That includes you. What? Jake, just give me the drug, Stop please. It's not laughing gas, man. Uh, look, I'm not going to risk your life for some X-Files flash you may or may not have. Look. Hang in there. I have a little faith. Faith? Faith in what? That the cops are gonna find my wife in some back alley? That God has some master plan for all you this? You can't play life and death. Like hell I can't. You do it every day. You beat the odds. You make a call. You save a life. You don't just stand there and cross your arms and turn over some higher power. So why should I? Maybe if Marion regains consciousness, she'll be able to tell us where the others are. And if she doesn't, what do I do then? I know. I have a little faith, right?
What did you think? Ooh, I still have the touch. Bye-bye.